Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today as usual, let's go over the market, let's go over Tesla, let's go over all that stuff as per usual. And uh, also as usual, if you enjoy the video, find it useful, helpful, and informative, don't forget to hit that like button. And also per usual, this is not financial advice. Make your own decisions, do your own research. And I am, of course, not a financial advisor. So the market's closing in just about 30 seconds. Tesla looking like it is going to be closing down almost 6%, which... You know, 6% is quite a lot. You know, it's a decent crash. Uh, it was actually a lot lower uh, when it was all the way down here. I think it was like closer to 8%, which is a pretty, you know, pretty substantial fall for like just one day of movement, right? Especially for a mega cap stock, essentially, uh, like Tesla. So, you know, we'll go over everything. What I'm, you know, currently foreseeing, you know, is there a bounce? Are we continuing to fall? You know, what do I personally think is going to happen? I'll go over all that stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. So the market just officially closed Tesla, 190.87 cents which is about a just a 5.87 percent drop uh to the downside of course so all that being said let's just jump into it so you know so yesterday we had the investor event obviously it didn't go uh, as you know people had hoped clearly clearly um and yeah you know we've been talking about this for a while right i've been talking about this whole time when we were going sideways how you know just throughout this whole range, I personally expected this to be a massive bull trap. You know, I expected a drop to happen. I just, I don't know when, obviously, you know, that's, you know, no one knows when that'll happen. I just, I was pretty confident it will happen pretty soon. Just, you know, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or next week or maybe in two weeks, but it's going to come. And yeah, so we pretty much just went sideways for about two weeks of trading and, uh, you know, the drop has finally seemingly begun. So, you know, we were inside these two channels, like I said, you know, the, the kind of the bridge, you know, holding it up. We, right, we also were inside this little, you know, triangle, if you will little wedge if you will right we were in all these situations which definitely could have played out to the bullish side especially the blue lines right this absolutely could have ping-ponged inside and actually you know went up to the top side again potentially went up all the way to this kind of you know 218 level again that was absolutely a possibility but like i said several times you know i did brace myself for that being a reality by selling cash secured puts back uh when we were right here uh, pretty much at 200 i sold 180 puts cash cash secured puts it's just one of them um and you know that was just in case we went to the top but you know clearly we didn't and i was obviously a lot more geared for the fact that we won't which you know is essentially what i did now i'll talk about those trades as well near the end of the video if you're curious but you know um we did finally drop right everyone kept saying that you know the event is gonna be bullish tesla's gonna go to like 230 guys you know 230 bullish event guys you know everything you know we just went up 100 percent in a month and a half but you know the event's gonna be bullish we're going up another 20 percent or something like that because you know just literally why not at this point uh and yeah you know people kept just being very optimistic and that to me is a sure sign that you know what people are just getting way too greedy at this point right similar to like i said before back when we were like all the way somewhere around in here going sideways right in this area same as we're doing here sideways right so back when we were consolidating you know the bears kept calling for like 70 over here just something ridiculous they just kept getting greedy thinking it'll just keep going down because you know why not it'll just keep going down same thing with the bulls here right one up this much this fast and then the bulls are just like yeah let's just keep going up because i mean literally why not you know what i mean that was essentially their excuse so you know whenever you see these kind of things happen from both sides you have to take that into account right that's important like this kind of sentiment i bring this up is because it is important to take into account and i do take this into account on top of my technical analysis for you know what i see in the chart i combine the two and i like to you know kind of go along with that and that's how i try to plan out my you know strategy i guess going forward so all those factors put in together right you know the the chances of dropping versus you know going up even higher back to let's say 218 to me were definitely higher i said before like 80 percent or something like that i mentioned before right so not the fact that we finally did drop broke out of of the yellow lines the blue lines and everything yeah it's not looking great obviously you know we did close above 190 so that's not atrocious but to me the 190 a lot of people are talking about 190. i personally don't view 190 as the important level i personally view more like 191 192 as the important levels and that's exactly where, we, where we've been getting rejected and that's exactly where this white line you can see i have here uh, i had position for quite a while now i haven't changed it whatsoever it's been here for weeks um and you, you can see that we are pretty much getting rejected more or less exactly at that line right this is you know old support uh, which we bounced off here, bounced off here. You know, we did go below it, but, you know, ultimately we got sucked back up and kept holding above this line or pretty much at the line more or less here as well. This got pretty close. And now essentially the complete opposite is happening. Now that we drop below it, we came up to this exact same level of contention, if you will, or, you know, supply and or demand, or I guess, or demand. Uh, which in this case then ended up, of course, being supply, right? We came up to this level, getting 
I've rejected over and over and over on the one hour chart you can see here right and uh, yeah you know that's not a good sign that's not what you want to see so you know we'll see where this ends up taking us now I don't think that's still impossible to go up actually a little bit higher than this I definitely think that's still possible um, and I think the best case scenario for the bulls to at least get some chance to maybe either get out or maybe have one more little final run up if you will uh, is essentially going to be to come over and potentially retest these blue lines that you know were obviously acting as a support and resistance that was essentially this little uh, pennant or whatever it's called I keep forgetting the names but you know wedge pennant whatever uh, that we were in you know that clearly you know bounced 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 right that you know obviously acted as you know what it is right a pennant or a wedge or whatever so you know it is a possibility that we come up to retest it one more time because i always say this right whenever you break down from supports or break above resistances it's very common to come back and retest that breakout whether it's to the upside or to the downside in this case we broke it down to the downside obviously so it's not you know completely unheard of to come up to retest this breakout or break down i guess one more time to kind of confirm it if you will and then from there most likely our rejection so pretty much you know high 190s to 200 somewhere around that general level most likely come up to that level most likely get rejected and then most likely make our actual way down finally to the ultimate level which i personally believe is going to be again like i said anywhere between this kind of 166 level all the way down to this gap fill around 145 that is to me personally where i think the bottom will form and where we could potentially consolidate a little bit and then ultimately make our way a little bit higher excuse me while i get a quick drink i'm just getting a little dry there but yeah, I, that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And that is th th more or less, this, this is the move that, you know, I definitely would not be surprised to see happen right here, uh, pretty much right now, more or less, right? But this is like, you know, the realistic best case scenario. I really don't think it can get much better than this. And if it does, then this will just be, it's a, a pretty amazing bear trap in all honesty. I just don't think that's the case. Now, assuming whether, you know, whether we go up to retest this breakdown first or whether we don't retest this breakdown, I am still pretty confident that ultimately, regardless of what happens there, uh, you know, in that very, very short term movement, that we are ultimately going to make our way back down uh, to around mid, mid 150s or so, right? Like I mentioned with this Fibonacci, especially, right? Very important to keep in mind. You know, we've talked about this several times, but now that the move seemingly has started, we can actually really start discussing this even further, right? Where, you know, being from the swing, you know, from the low to the high, the swing high, which evidently so far seems to be the swing high. You know, assuming, again, this is all assuming Tesla is in a bull trend now for like the medium term, which I think it is. Definitely a chance that it isn't, but I think it is. I think there's a higher chance, like a 60% chance it is and a 40% chance it is. And I definitely think it is in favor. However, you know, um, and, and the main reason, again, like I said before, is because we broke above 200. You can see this swing, you know, because again, from all the way back here, you know, we made uh, a swing low to a swing high, uh, to a lo lower low, uh, to a lower high, lower low, lower high, uh, you know, pretty much a lower low, essentially the same high, right? Uh, then we went even lower and then instead of setting a lower high here again, somewhere, let's say around maybe like, you know, 160, 180, something like that, and then making our way even lower. Instead, what we did is we actually broke this arguable swing high that we had over here. So now we essentially set a arguable higher high, which is good, but it's not it. That's not over, right? We still need confirmation that the bull trend is here. And the confirmation is essentially on this retrace, which like I said, it's coming. I don't know when, but it is coming. It, it just, it, it pretty much has to happen at some point. That's just the only way to make this healthy, unless, of course, something very, you know, random happened. Not random, but, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Out of the ordinary, I guess, happens where you just have massive run-ups like this, right? But, you know, in a more like a healthy movement, if you will, you know, you'll have these retraces and you want it to come down. And again, assuming that you're in the bullish thesis, what you want to see is now that we set a higher high, obviously, should be pretty obvious, you want to see a higher low, right? So, in other words, you don't want it to go... First and foremost, you definitely don't want it to break this low over here. That's just by far the highest thing. But in order to make this bull trend and actually like an actual healthy bull trend and like a, you know, a legitimate bull trend that, you know, potentially switched, I guess, to a bull trend from this medium, short to medium term bear downtrend, you want to see Tesla retrace to a bullish retracement, which essentially to me is an ideally no lower than the 618 right ideally no lower than that right so which is essentially around this 146 ish gap fill level you know 145 to just make it simple roughly you don't want to go lower than that right it can still it can technically bounce to 173 that could be the swing low i don't think so uh but you know i definitely wouldn't be surprised if 160 happens to be that low right and we that's where we consolidate and then we go up from there and it happens to be you know exactly what we want to see again this kind of 170s is definitely a possibility but again the main thing i'm looking for is that it does not go lower than 146 as long as it comes down to this general area down here you know 160 150 something like that maybe 145 that's fine you know as long as we don't go lower than that 
that's good to me and that to me tells me that the bullish trend is indeed here for at least the medium term um and, and that's great that, that's great news that's what you want to see as a bull right so that's more or less the retracement and the level i'm personally waiting for and looking for ideally from here whatever happens short term like extremely short term i mean like you know within the next couple of days is to me you know fairly irrelevant and uh you know whether again we come up to this you know 197 200 level to retest the breakdown and then you know continue downwards or we just go you know more or less straight downwards from here to me is, is uh, more or less irrelevant either way whichever very very short term path we take whether it's like this or whether it's essentially like this I personally think it's coming down there regardless that's just my opinion i could be completely wrong i want to make it very clear but the rsi pretty damn bearish looking right the daily rsi just literally pointing straight down at least it's about 50 still but it's still like pointing straight down not looking hot pretty much an obvious bearish divergence it's just you know it is what it is right the rsi on the, on the one hour setting a lower low as well so you know it, it is what it is right it is what it is i do think that we are going down there at some point again i don't know how long it'll take i don't know if it'll take a week a month whatever i, I don't know that's the thing i will never have an answer to i don't know the duration i don't know the time frame or anything like that could be could be one day maybe it's a week maybe it's a month i don't know however i am confident that we will make our way down there at some point or another most likely within the next month i would take a guess you know uh, and yeah that's essentially the main thing i'm personally waiting for and looking for and then the final thing i'll talk about very quickly uh well actually very first uh, quickly i want to take a look at the 21 email wow we actually got rejected by the 21 email on the daily which is also pretty bearish that's not good uh you also see the bull and japan we are at the red line but it's still not actually too crazy so this it's oddly not this almost doesn't even feel like it's the big move yet like even though this is a pretty big move it almost feels like it's not the move yet it almost feels like that we're still actually potentially in this little kind of consolidation area and that the, the real true move to the downside hasn't actually begun yet that's definitely a possibility of just how the bull andrew bands look like they're still kind of tight so take that as you will take that as you will of course but uh yeah that's kind of what i'm seeing guys so let me know what you think down below the 50-day moving average is pretty much sitting at 160 so you don't know, absolutely wouldn't surprise me to come down there at all uh and yeah that's essentially more or less what i am seeing in terms of the trades i am currently eyeballing and or have done i'll very quickly explain uh i have entered uh more cash secure puts so i have i actually did sold two yesterday i forgot to yeah, I sold two yesterday. I sold one more right before the market closed at 177. I have one sold at 180, one at 177 and a half, expiring um, the second last Friday of March, which I believe is the, the 24th of March is my date. Um, I would have chose the 17th, but for other reasons that uh, I had to, I chose that one instead. But regardless, it doesn't really matter too much. So I have those from yesterday, right? Which obviously are technically down, if you will. But, you know, my point is just let theta run out and ideally i want to make this very clear my strategy ideally is to have these cash secure puts not only i can take the extra premium as like a bonus like the cherry on the cake but use these cash secure puts that i'm selling as my entry into tesla shares throughout this month because again that's my kind of goal i'm using this as a, just a, another uh, in my opinion a better way to buy shares because i also get the premium on top of it um, unless it's just you're horribly wrong and just crashes which you know would suck a lot but the idea is still similar because even if you bought here and it crashes you know the idea is similar anyway th that's the point and i did enter uh, uh another one i believe i entered so in, in the morning when i woke up when i woke up i saw tesla's down eight percent i'm like phenomenal this is fantastic right and what i did was pretty much right at market open i sold um three more cash secured puts i sold three cash secured puts at 170 i believe for the same dates and then we rallied i bought it back pretty much at 191 or 192 or something like that almost not the top top but like 192 i think is where i bought them back waited and then it fell down here and somewhere around down here i resold one more so i bought those three back that i you know for profit I can't remember exactly how much profit maybe like 20 percent or something like that and then down here i resold just one cash secured put also at 170 for the same dates um and i'm holding that i'm planning to hold that i most likely unless we rally to 200 I, I, then i'll exit it for the profit uh but otherwise i will most likely just continue holding it and uh most likely i want it to go in the money because i want to actually buy the shares with that put i just i'm just taking the premium on top of it right and the good thing is is as we continue going down which i still think we will i will continue selling more cash secure puts in like stages downwards right up until pretty much 145 ish and that's kind of my goal to continue buying with cash secure puts at every single major leg down until again mainly 145 if we go actually that low then that's my current process so that's kind of what i'm thinking guys a bit of a longer video but you know there's a lot to talk about and i gave you guys my personal plan right now i'm not gonna go into every single trade i ever do i just wanted to give you guys kind of what i did today i'm sure people i'm sure people are curious and also my overall plan as to what i'm personally doing and what fits me because that's the way i like to trade i like to sell options i hate buying options i hate theta being against me it's just not my style i love selling options i love selling calls i love selling puts um of course secured puts not like you know naked calls 
walls or make naked puts or anything like that. I don't do that. But you know, regardless, that's essentially my style. That's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm waiting for. And that is my action and game plan. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. A bit of a longer video, but thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.